This video is brought to you by Ultium 365. Last year I created a video on a car barrier control system in which I used an ultrasonic sensor to control the car barrier or gate. This project is suitable for beginners, however in reality this project is not practical at all. This is because an ultrasonic sensor can only sense the presence of objects and measure their distance but it cannot identify those objects. Therefore, if any object comes in front of the ultrasonic sensor, it would open the car barrier or gate which is not ideal. So I thought why not to take it to a slightly advanced level. So this time I will be using the Arduino along with ESP32 cam for wireless live video streaming and for the image processing I am going to use Python OpenCV YOLO V3. Now the barrier or gate will only open for cars, it will not open for any other objects. This project is entirely based on my previous video where I explained the most basic things such as how to perform wireless video streaming using the ESP32K module, how to install Python, OpenCV and YOLO V3 and how to detect and identify different objects. In my studio I detected and identified various objects and not only did I identify and trick birds and kids but I also displayed alert messages on the screen. So I have already explained all of these things and I won't repeat them today. Today I will only explain new things including servo motor interfacing with Arduino and its programming, how to detect and identify a car and how to send car barrier or gate opening and closing commands to Arduino from Python OpenCV YOLO V3. So without any further delay, let's get started. I'm using my Arduino Nano and LoRa based development board but you can also do the same exact connections on a breadboard. Anyway connect the signal wire to the Arduino pin 9 and connect the VCC and ground wires of the servo to the Arduino 5 volt and ground pins. You can follow this circuit diagram. And let me also tell you if you are planning on using large servo motors like the ones you can see on the screen then don't use 5 volt from the Arduino because it might damage your Arduino board. So use an external 5 volt power supply. On my development board I have this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply and it's more than enough for powering these all types of servos. So you can make yourself this development board or you can make yourself this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply and then you can use it with different microcontroller boards, servos, breakout boards and even you can use this 5 volt and 3 amps power supply to charge your cell phone. I have added links to all the related videos in the description. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the Arduino programming. I started off by adding the servo.h header file. You can see the servo signal wire is connected to the Arduino pin 9. The isLake variable I'm going to use is the flake. I could also define it as boolean but anyway I'm using it to stop the unnecessary repetition of code. In the while loop function we simply check if any data is available on the serial port or in simple words if any data is received from the Python. In my case I sent two numbers from Python so that's why I have used purse integer. So if the received number is 1 and the is leg equals equals 0 then move the servo arm to 90 degrees and change the is leg state to 1. So these instructions will only execute once. If the received number is 2 and the is flag equals equals 1 then move the servo arm to 0 degrees. I have already uploaded this program and now let's take a look at the Python OpenCV YOLO V3 programming. Ultium 365 lets you invite users to your workspace so everyone can collaborate on projects and access the latest design revisions. To invite a user to the workspace, click the name of the workspace and select my Ultium 365 to open the workspace configuration in your browser. On the left side select workspace members. Click the invite workspace members button to start the invitation process. To invite a user enter their email address in the aid members field. You can invite multiple users at the same time. Finally you can add a note that users will see in the invitation. After entering all the necessary data click the invite button to complete the process. Specify the administrator role for the invited user. Once a new team member accepts the invitation they will have defined access to the workspace and can collaborate with other members. I have added links to the Ultium Designer, Ultium 365 and Octopart, 
the world's fastest component search engine. Now let's get back to our project. This is the same exact program from my previous project. You can see I'm using the same IP address. Through this IP address, I receive high quality images from the ESP32 camera module. I have already explained how to set up your ESP32 camera module for the live video streaming. This is the Arduino port. My Arduino board is connected to the communication port 11 and this is the baud rate. This time around, I'm using Coco.Names for the detection and identification of a car. You can see we have a long list of the objects. So you can select any of these objects for controlling the car barrier or gate. In my case, I'm going to continue with a car. These are the coordinates of two lines used to open and close the car barrier. These are the instructions used to send the command 1 and 2. When the car crosses line 1, it sends 1 to the Arduino to open the barrier. And when the car crosses line 2, then it sends 2 to the Arduino to close the barrier. Now let's go ahead and start our practical demonstration. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.